boy, so we've got to look for a guy with a bald head. Uh, could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Alright, one last quick look around there. Is this leading me? Oh, okay. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. Some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. Could be dangerous. Ooh, here we go. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Just a little bit more. Poisons the fish, and then this guy goes running after him, and he runs for the exit. Come back, you thief! I'll show you not to mess with us. Hey! The fish storage poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, then made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. Hmm. All evidence collected, eh? button. All evidence collected, eh? Okay. Uh, the man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. I need to visit the university. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay, this is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me courted. Hmm. Anna will quarter you. <laughs> You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's... Unexpected. Huh. Mm, oh, God. I don't want those bloody decisions. All right, I won't tell her. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh, you go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer, except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. You. Give me your map. <laughs> There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. Alrighty. See ya. May the sea protect you. Oh, he gave me something, but I can't carry anymore. Okay. Alright, so we need to get back to Anna. Where was Anna? God, I can't remember. Oh, the fish market, of course. Yep. So I need to go down the road, turn left, and go up to that place. Fish? Fresh fish? Here she is. You want a fishy? 
No, it's not her. Sorry. Don't be shy. Hi. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm <clears> all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. Uh, okay. Any theories on who might have done this? Any enemies? <laughs> the EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. It could be anyone. It could be the police, the Ku Klux Klan, see, take them, or even the Throgmortons. We were always a thorn in the side of those apes. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome, if you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. Oh, God. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Well, then I wasn't there. <laughs> Fought like a lion. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? He deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. Uh, oh, okay, the holding pen, yeah. I've found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me? You've found what? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here. Give me your map and I'll show you. Cool. You were a student there, I take it. Yes. That's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. Already. See you later. Good stuff. Off to the um, university. So where's that then? Is that going to be in this area? Yeah, that's the university. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Welcome to to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, I need to find Professor Westerbrook. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Blimey, we've we'll got around uh, quick. Specimen? Oh, oh n n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the d Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. Okay. Uh, you have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. Oh, okay. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It, 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 sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. 
I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. Okay. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. God, that guy's a wreck, isn't he? So I'll give him some Valium. Right, Department of Medicine. Oh, I guess that's it there. Alrighty. This one or that one? Hey. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oldmark University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Okay. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap, and the other day I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat oh, hindered right now. side quest. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Oh, great. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. Okay. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess yep. science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Okay, people, so we're now into the basement. Okay, this could be it. Get the gun ready. What, fast shooting or powerful shooting? Would you want to burn? I think a bit of fire might come in here. Oh, that was a bit pointless. Okay, the lab is clear. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Good stuff, good stuff. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Yeah. Ooh, experiment log. Finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I've begun a series of experiments on the creature. So far it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poisonous substances at my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. It's shrieking though. It's bound to haunt me. March 5th, last night I had a vision. Thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket. Oh dear, yeah, okay. Come on, it's gone a bit. Wow. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I, or shouldn't I? <laughs> I bet the answer to that is no. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Good grief. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Yeah, you sure it's dead? March 10th, with those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen remained alive even with half its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th, I developed 
The way to reanimate their tissue, even in one that's been dead for weeks, is as monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications, does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures, and perhaps even ourselves, we need to find volunteers. Volunteers. I reckon if I press that button, this thing's going to come to life. Am I prepared to beat that thing up now? I'm thinking probably not. But you know, I'm tempted. Tempted. Should I? Should not? What do you reckon? I'd say leave your comments, but it might be a bit late. Um, oh, okay. I thought the button was going to activate the store at first. No. Can't go anymore. So what do we think? Save and hit the button. I think it's a grand idea. Gonna get out the heavy duties though. Yeah. So very tempting. Yeah, do it, do it. Sanity is dropping a bit dangerously low. Yeah! <laughs> wow. That was definitely worth it. To replace a couple of things, used all our med packs. Simul, I've cleared the lab. Let's do it. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Okay, yeah, your turn. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. Okay, yeah. Where did it come so, from? So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here, for study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right, so what are the symptoms? How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. 
Okay, so is there an antidote? There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. And who has Who's access? Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. I wonder why. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. Oh, all very where suspicious. Do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... Uh, all right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key. But please don't disturb the professor's things. So this is Westerbrook's place. Ooh. Oh god, do I need to smash that? I don't really want to, you know. Why would they add, look, why would they put the handle down that says all through a person? Can you can see that? Yeah, I don't know if I should be smashing this stuff up. Cavendish. Oh, interesting. Are oh, they pointing me towards the door? These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Okay, yeah, this guy doesn't sound very nice, does he? Whose office was this Cavendish? Yeah. Okay, he wants me to go into the Mind Palace. Westbrook has access to poison. George Cavendish made a spare key. Yeah, George Cavendish, press on when he does his, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. According to a student, he lives somewhere in Advent. So we need to go and see that dude, don't we? Cavendish, Summer in Advent. Summer in Advent. Hey, George Walter Cavendish. Oakmont, Massachusetts. Advent Central, St. Michael's Road between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street, flat two. 